once again we have gathered around let us feel the presence of jesus he has rightly said where two or three are gathered in my name i am amidst of you and today he is with us all those who are participating in this prayer session let us please stand up let us be in your own places let us praise and thank the lord for this wonderful day let us thank the lord for all the gifts that he has given to us thank you, let us thank the lord thank for you, the whole what work he has done to us let us praise and jesus. worship and thank, thank the lord jesus. together with the choir thank you, jesus. with a cheerful countenance thank you, jesus. let us thank and happily hallelujah. praise and worship the name of god he is a mighty god thank hallelujah jesus. hallelujah thank oh jesus we praise you oh jesus we adore you we glorify you lord hallelujah jeho bachaye ra my provider your grace is sufficient for me for me for me jeho bachaye ra my provider his grace is sufficient for me my god my god shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory he will give us aid to stars over me jeho bachaye ra kes ko Glory, glory! Moving to both sides, let us praise and worship the Lord. Oh Lord, we praise you, we adore you. O oh, name of Jesus, we call out your name and worship you. I will celebrate, sing unto the Lord. I will sing to Him a new song. Amen. I will celebrate, sing unto the Lord. I will sing to Him a new song. A new song. I will. Praise him. Amen. I will sing to him a new song. Glory, glory. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. Hallelujah. 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 Everybody. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus 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 Amen Jesus Jesus Everybody sing Jesus 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 Jesus
Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and ever shall, ever shall be, world without, without end. end. Amen. 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 Please be seated. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, when people come to me for prayer, one of the very one of the greatest complaint what they say is that father whatever we do we are not able to be successful in our lives we pray a lot we try to do whatever is possible for from our side but we are never getting any kind of success maybe in the business area maybe in the educational area whatever may be wherever we go we are unable to be successful and what is the real reason that we are not successful in our lives dear brothers and sisters as a child of god we have only one duty in this world there is nothing other than to obey the will of god to find out the will of god and when we say to obey the will of god the next question automatically comes how will we find out the will of god and many people today do not understand how can we find the will of god for you and for me we know as human beings we can only just make plans about our future and we are not at all sure whether these plans will be fulfilled and that is the reason the word of god in the book of proverbs chapter 19 verse 21 reads in this way the human mind may devise many plans but it is the purpose of the lord that will be established praise the lord praise, praise the lord though we may make many plans the purpose of the lord will be established we see in the bible and very wherever we see all those people who have consulted with god who have received the will of god and gone through the same the path of god they have become successful in their lives hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. we see in the book of uh, gospel of saint luke chapter 1 verse 38 mama mary was in a very difficult situation because as a virgin who was not married who was just proposed to joseph she was going to be the mother of jesus and at that time it was not that acceptable even today it is not acceptable we know but mama very was in a very great situation but she was so filled with the spirit that she could make a firm decision saying that let thy will be done you see here 138 of luke mary said behold i am the handmaid of the lord may it be done to me according to your word praise the lord praise the lord maybe a difficult situation but if you are sure if this is from god then go ahead nothing to worry god will be there to support you and before therefore before taking any serious decisions you have to ask the lord to show the path and the very same they happened in this in the life of joseph too joseph he was so much confused in the gospel of saint matthew chapter 1 verse 20 but just when he had resolved to do this an angel of the lord appeared to him in a dream and said joseph son of david do not be afraid to take mary as your wife for the child conceived in her is from the holy spirit praise the lord praise the lord so there was a crucial situation where joseph had to make a firm decision about his future whether to leave this girl or to accept and when he consulted with god definitely i'm sure that night he could not have slept the word of god says when he was in deep sleep i don't think he would be able to sleep at that night because his mind was so much disturbed and definitely he must have been consulting with god and then god reveals to him the plan 
this she has become pregnant she is is going to be the mother of god and it is by the holy spirit and that made him to make a firm decision hallelujah hallelujah the brothers and sisters today many of the many people why they fail in their lives because they are unable to know the will of god two things are very much necessary to know the will of god that is what we see in the book of wisdom chapter 9 verse 17 or who can know your counsel unless you give wisdom and send your holy spirit from on high hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. your wisdom has to be received us by us we have to fill with the holy spirit then only we will be able to know his your will and you know in the life of jesus too we see the very same thing at different occasions jesus is asking the lord before he was to start his ministry he went for 40 days in prayer and fasting to know the will of god how to move about and he was filled with the holy spirit then he was going out to do his ministry and secondly we see when he was to go to uh, mount calvary to uh, sacrifice himself for the whole humanity he was just praying to the lord he was praying to the lord and he knew that the suffering that he is going to undertake would be very very severe but he was ready to pray before the, his father and asking what is your plan oh lord the chalice i am going to drink is going to be big very very uh, severe the pain i am going to suffer the crucifixion which i am having going to receive is going to be very very uh, heavy for me but i pray not my will but thy will be done hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. we see the brothers, brothers and sisters in the gospel of saint luke chapter 22 verse 42 jesus says oh lord if possible let this chalice pass away but not my will but thy will be done listen to that father if you are willing remove this cup from me yet not my will but yours be done praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah and this must be the attitude of every christian before taking any decision we have to ask the lord and dear brothers and sisters prayer and fasting has got a lot to do with making a decision when we come into the book of daniel we see an incident in the book of daniel chapter 10 let us listen to that chapter 10 book of daniel verse 1 onwards in the third year of cyrus king of persia a revelation was given to daniel who had been named belteshar the revelation was certain a great war he understood this from the vision in those days i daniel mourned three full weeks i ate no savory food took no meat or wine and did not anoint myself at all until the end of the three weeks praise the lord see dear brothers and sisters to know the future of his people he is taking three weeks in a very very special prayer time he doesn't use any kind of religious food and he is keeping himself in prayer so that god may reveal to him what is the plan of his people and on the 21st day we see an angel coming to him and the angel is coming from heaven the angel tells him what the in the words tenses in this way but then a hand touched me raising me to my hands and knees daniel beloved he said to me understand the words which i am speaking to you stand up for my mission now is to you do not fear daniel he continued from the first day you made up your mind to acquire understanding and humble yourself before god your prayer was heard but the prince of the kingdom of persia stood in my way for 21 days until finally michael one of the chief princes came to help me hallelujah what happened he came on the first day to him but he was blocked by the prince of persia that means 
when god wants to give something to us always there will be a block by satan and we have to defeat the satan and daniel the 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 angel is telling to daniel see i have entrusted the prince in the hands of michael to be fight with and i have come here the brothers and sisters i have heard a number of stories where mothers praying for their children with the fasting and prayer today many people feel that fasting and prayer is none of our business that is old fashion no dear brothers and sisters before you make any serious decisions if you are able to do uh, prayer and fasting before the lord maybe for two weeks or maybe for three weeks god will definitely show you the way and all the saints who went ahead of us they have uphold the fasting and prayer and penance in their lives as something very 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 precious and that have made them more and more holy today let us stand up for a moment dear brothers and sisters close your eyes let us think of our own lives oh lord how many times we have take, taken many stupid and foolish decisions without asking any consult from you we have never made any payment for what we have taken the decision we have taken and today we pray lord maybe because of the wrong decisions maybe because we do not did not consult with you maybe we did not seek your will that may be the reason of my failure in my life today we pray lord give us the grace give us the knowledge and wisdom so that we may be able to find out your way your will by fasting and prayer the gospel of saint mark chapter 9 verse 29 says without fasting and prayer these things cannot be gone yes we need fasting and prayer in our lives let us raise hands up to heaven and ask the lord to give this grace to pray without fail to pray and ask the god's will through our prayer and fasting hallelujah hallelujah oh lord we ask your grace oh lord we ask your grace we need your power so that we may be able to distinguish what is good for us hallelujah hallelujah show me Spirit, you come. You feel me, your plan. Give me your grace. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May God bless each and every one of us. Amen. As we are just in front of the blessed sacrament, our Jesus is present here as a person. He is a person ever living. He is a person who knows each and every one of you and today let us place our hearts let's place our lives to him tell him lord we need you oh lord we need to listen your voice the greatest duty of each and every one of us is to hear your voice and to go according to the will of god oh lord we re- we know we understand that unless and until you give your wisdom and the holy spirit we will never be able to know the way that we have to tread there are so many failures in our lives the reasons are because we have not asked your counsel your consult your counsel and today 
as we raise our hands lord once again we surrender ourselves totally and fully give us the grace through prayer and fasting to know your will as jesus did as many other saints who live up to your expectations did let, let us be also able to know your will by prayer fasting and penance let us raise the hands up as we are going to receive the benediction let us receive the holy spirit and ask the lord to bless each and every one of us let us praise and worship the lord hallelujah 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 Thanksgiving